Coach, the, the uh, final game of the year was almost like a culmination of the growth of the offense. How much did that kickstart you coming into the season with that tremendous performance against such a great team? Yeah, I think I, I think you, you hit on a lot of good points there. We were really, really proud of the way our team played in that game. Uh, I think we, we garnered a lot of momentum from that game. Um, I've really looked back to the Rutgers game and that game. You know, the Rutgers game, we. We went into that game. We were kind of limping into that game, if, if I remember correctly, and and uh, we had to win or go home, and they had to win or go home, and we were on the road. So we we really challenged our team that week. That not that we didn't challenge them every week, but that week we challenged them like this is a playoff game, and so um, I, I we went there against a good team, well coached team, and I thought our guys played really really well. I thought that was one of our better games of the entire season. Um, um, I'm sure as a, as a whole team, but. You know, my job is, is in, in particular the offense. We ran the ball. We were balanced. We we were you know very efficient, um, very good on third down. Very, you know, good in the red zone. Good in our coming. Good in the um, the critical winning areas of the game. And then you know, Coach Loxley during the bowl prep, he did something kind of unique. He he made us go back to install one during the first two days of bowl prep. We did not prep Virginia Tech at all. The first couple of days we did install one for two days, install two for two days, and install three for two straight days. And he really wanted us to really, really hone in and focus on the technical and the fundamentals of our position groups. And to be honest with you, I thought that really, really was the springboard to how we played in that game. Um, we, we focused on that as an offense, defense, and special teams. And then when we transitioned into our game prep, I thought our guys handled the, the, the workload very, very well. I think we had a very determined team at that point. I think they felt like they had a lot to prove, and uh, they wanted to, to win a bowl game and win a championship. Uh, and that's, you know, at that time of year, you you got to try to win your last game. It's very, very important. And um, the mindset, the focus, the buy-in, the commitment um, from the entire team was awesome. I think that's a credit to our head coach and um, permeated on down to the rest of us. But I agree with you. Um, I thought our, our guys got a lot of juice from that game, a lot of confidence, and uh, that won't buy us any wins this year, but certainly I think it's been great for the, um, the offseason as far as our commitment, our buy-in, and our offseason conditioning was, was excellent. So. I'm Wayne Viner from Viner Four Gates. We make your company work. I'm Arthur Smith with Viner Four Gates. Two-factor authentication is a must-have in today's world. Security training for your company is a must. The crooks are getting smarter. We have to give you the edge to fight back. Well, the first thing I think is, is from a technical and fundamental standpoint, we need to continue to, continue to improve, um, which I think he made improvements through the course of the year, but um, still reverted back to, I think, some, some things that we got to clean up. Um, we've addressed a lot of those, obviously, already in the offseason, but this is the first time we can really get out there with them and, and work with them with the ball. And, you know, hopefully, hopefully we've cleaned up some of those things, but I think that's that's something that, you know, when you play this position that I think is never ending, no matter how long you play, you're always trying to improve things and find ways to get better from a technical and fundamental standpoint as far as his drops and his rhythm and um, where his eyes are going and those types of things. And then, you know, the next, the next phase would be just, uh, Overall, just uh, becoming, you know, what I said to him yesterday was I said, if you finish the year and you're in algebra two, you know, let's try to get to the next phase of that, whether that's geometry or calculus or AP calc or whatever it is, as far as understanding our offensive, defensive structure. So I think he grew a lot. I think he, I think he's a great student of the game. He's a guy that really, really prepares, you know, he takes it very seriously. He acts like a pro. And, uh, I think he just needs to continue to, you know, I think the more reps he gets and the more he understands what we're doing and he, the more he understands the, what the defense, the structure, whether it's the front, the coverage, the, the blitz, um, whatever those things are, um, he's going to play faster. And when he plays faster, he's going to help us. I think he did. Going back and looking at the uh, offseason, um, our evaluation that we did, going back and watching every play, you know, I saw a lot of growth in him. I saw him checking plays. Um, towards the end of the season, he got much better in that aspect. Just little things that I think normal, norm, the normal fan wouldn't recognize. Just some subtle changing of runs, flipping it from one way to the other based on the structure. 
things like that. I really saw a lot of growth in him in, in that way. And so, um, you know, I, I covered a lot of ground there with that answer, I think. But I do think he's a guy that's extremely talented and a guy that uh, has the right type of makeup to go along with it. He's got a, he's very competitive. He's a, he wants to be a great player. He wants to be coached. He doesn't want you to tell him everything's okay all the time, which um, coaching this position sometimes you kind of get you get all sorts and. And I know everybody's different, but he, he wants to be coached hard. He wants to be told uh, he needs to get better. And, uh, you know, really that's the start. But love love being around him, love coaching him. But, you know, obviously we'll start with a technical and fundamental standpoint of getting better, and then we'll, we'll move on to the, uh, you know, the mental mental side of things of just an overall grasp of what we're doing and then understanding defense as well.